In a hundred years, the question of what it means to be Irish remains a puzzle. In the Cyclops chapter of Ulysses, Bloom meets the citizen, a fierce Irish nationalist whose one-sided and one-eyed view drives him from a pub. Typical you all for number one. Cute as a shithouse rat, that's what you are. Dublin still has a few modern day citizens who think Bloomsday has less to do with being Irish and more to do with getting pissed. Meet Brendan O'Connor. Of course, it would take the Irish to take the alleged greatest book ever written and isolate the passages in it that referred to daytime drinking and then use it as an excuse for daytime drinking. Essentially, it's fancy dress for adults. There's a thing here, I don't know if you have it in Canada, called school disco. And it's where older people dress up and relive school days they never had, dance to 80s music and wear school uniforms and get off with each other and have what we call slow sets. I don't know if you have those. Uh, and essentially, Bloomsday is a kind of a literary justified version of that. Kind of like Hunter S. Thompson, but with Gorgonzola. So that makes it okay. If anyone else had written a book about a 24-hour pub crawl, which is essentially what it is, Irish people would be disassociating themselves from it and saying, well, you know, this is contributing to our image as, as drinkers, and we're not really drinkers, and this is a, a myth that Americans and Canadians have about us. But the, the fact of the matter is that somehow Joyce respectabilized the pub crawl, and it's only a matter of time before it's made a national holiday. There's another argument about Bloomsday, which is that when the church came to Ireland, they would have recreated a lot of the pagan festivals as church holidays. But what they missed out on was a, a midsummer festival of some kind, which as a pagan people, midsummer would have been a huge time of celebration for us. But there is no church or public holiday that fits in around that. Bloomsday is in and around that time, a week before midsummer's. And it is essentially, it's a pagan festival. Done again with this literary justification. I mean, the fact that they found a bit that justifies people having a full Irish breakfast, as we call it, in the morning, which is the classic drinker's kind of thing to do, to line the stomach with, with, with a big heavy breakfast and then go on the booze for the day. They found that bit, and they found the bit about the daytime drinking, and they're the bits we've focused on. And, of course, Molly Bloom's or orgasmic soliloquy is in there as well. Yes! <gasps> yes! <gasps> Not that Irish women have orgasms. <laughs>